Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be kicking from the Necronom Nom 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 cookbook and I'm going to be making the Bakihi Gyro Sandwich also known as just a plain gyro sandwich or as some people call it a gyro. The ingredients that we are going to need I'm going to actually start here in the middle with the meat. You're going to need a two pounds of ground lamb as well as one medium onion that I've gone ahead and processed in the food processor and allowed it to drain in a strainer and then after I did that I put it into a tea towel and squeezed it really hard to get any remaining juices out of it. You want your onion as dry as you can possibly get it for this. I've also got one tablespoon of extremely finely minced garlic as well as one tablespoon of ground fennel, one tablespoon of marjoram, a half of a teaspoon of black pepper, and two teaspoons of salt. For the tzatziki sauce, we are going to need 16 ounces of yogurt. I'm using non-fat Greek yogurt today. One medium cucumber with the seeds removed and diced finely and also allowed to drain because you want to try and get this as dry as you can as well. I've got three cloves of finely minced garlic, one tablespoon of olive oil, two teaspoons of red wine vinegar. We're also going to need a pinch of salt and the recipe calls for six mint leaves finely minced. I do not have access to fresh mint. The store was out of it. So I am going to be substituting it with dry mint today. And we're just going to start with about a fourth of a teaspoon and go from there. And then the rest of the ingredients that we are going to need are to finish off our sandwich, we're going to need some white Greek style pieta bread, some feta cheese, some diced tomatoes, as well as some finely diced red onion. So today we're going to need a couple of specialty items. The first one is you're going to need one clay brick that's been wrapped in aluminum foil, as well as a meat thermometer that is oven safe, and a food processor. So let me get some of this stuff out of my way and I'm going to go ahead and put my brick into my oven that is preheating to 325 degrees so it can start to warm up. So the first thing we're going to start with today is our tzatziki sauce. I'd like to go ahead and get it mixed up and in the refrigerator so the flavors can start mingling together. And I'm going to start with a half of this container. This is a 32 ounce container and we only need about 16 ounces. I'm going to dump in my cucumbers. As well as my garlic. And my vinegar. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start stirring this around until we get it all incorporated in. The next thing I'm going to add in is my pinch of salt. I might go for a little bit more, a pinch and a half, as well as my olive oil. And the last thing we're going to start adding in is our mint. And like I said, I'm going to start with about a fourth of a teaspoon. You don't want to go too heavy on this because it can get overwhelming. Actually, I'm going to go a little bit less than half. And now at this point, we do want to taste it for seasoning and see what we think about it. Definitely a little bit more mint. So I think I've used the whole one-fourth teaspoon. It's got a really good garlic flavor to it. I think it needs a tad bit more salt, though. So I am going to add in just another pinch of salt. And let's try it one more time for seasoning. Mm, much better. Alright guys, I'm going to get this wrapped up and put in the refrigerator so it can start chilling and I will be back here in a second. Alright guys, at this point 
we need to start getting our meat ready and I've gone ahead and put it in our food processor and I'm simply going to start dumping in my onions which I need to go ahead and start breaking up. I'm also going to add in my garlic. And all of my spices. And now what you want to do is put this in your food processor until it turns into a fine paste. Alright guys, so now that this has been blitzed up really well, and turned into a paste, I want to start putting it into my loaf pan. And while I'm doing this, I would like to remind you guys of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that JP Gadeth and I have going on our channels if you would like to be a part of it. It's really easy. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video. And once you've done that, let either JP or I know either in the comment section of our latest cooking videos or if you're a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there as well. And we will be more than happy to go out and check out your video and get it added to the playlist. Alright guys, so I'm going to continue getting all of this meat into my loaf pan here and then I will bring you guys back. Alright guys, I've gone ahead and gotten my meat all transferred into the loaf pan and you want to pack it down as tight as you can and try and fill in any voids around the edges. I've gone ahead and inserted my meat thermometer and I'm going to transfer this into my 325 degree oven until it reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. And I will have to let you guys know about how much time that took once this is done. So I will see you then. Alright guys, our meat has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit and it took about an hour and 20 minutes to reach that and now all we need to do is we need to take our brick that we've had in the oven alongside with our meat and press it down on top and we're going to let that sit on top of our meat for about 20 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 175 degrees Fahrenheit so I will see you guys once that happens Alright guys, our meat has reached an internal temperature of 175 degrees, so now all we need to do is start slicing it and assembling our sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead, and you kind of want to slice this fairly thin. There we go. Alright guys, I've got our meat sliced up, so let's go ahead and get our sandwich assembled. And I'm going to start with a little bit of our tzatziki sauce on the bottom. Make sure you stir it up really well. I did warm up my pieta bread a little bit just to make it a little bit more pliable and use as much tzatziki sauce as you like. So I'm going to go a little bit heavy on it. And I think that looks pretty good to me. And then we just want to come in and start layering our meat slices onto it. Alright, there we go. We've got our meat on. And now the next thing I'm going to do is add just a little bit of my feta cheese. Make sure you break those bigger crumbles up a little bit. And now for our tomatoes and our onions. Alright guys, there we go. Our Euro sandwich is all completely put together. So let's go ahead and get in here and give it a taste. See what we think about it. I will say the meat smells absolutely delicious. I've been smelling it for a couple hours now and I am ready to dig in. This is one of my favorite sandwiches. Alright guys, this one turned out so well. The meat turned out perfect. It's the perfect amount of spices. I was extremely worried about the rosemary as I'm not a huge fan of it, but it turned out to be the perfect amount there in the end. The tzatziki sauce is really good, very garlicky, just the way I like it. And I would highly recommend you guys give this one a chance, even though it is a little bit extra work, especially with using the brick. If you guys have liked this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave a link down in the description to it. 
But as always, thank you so very much for joining me today. I've been Walk Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.